Hey guys and welcome back. Today I'm bringing you a brand new video where I'm going to discuss 10 things that you pregnant ladies can do while you are stuck in your homes. Not to worry because I've compiled a special list just for you that will ensure you get out of that rut and back to being productive and fulfilled. So ladies, if you're ready to learn some interesting and creative new ways of how to make the most out of your time in quarantine, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and smash that bell notification next to the subscribe channel so that way you're notified of any new videos that I post. So no more waiting, let's get into this list. Item number one, pamper yourself. So ladies, in this quarantine, you're probably a lot more interested in having that bra off and those feet kicked up. But this is a really great time to learn how to really take care of yourself. For example, if you want to learn how to improve your self-care regimen or even develop a self-care regimen, what better time than to do it right now? Also, if you're interested more in the beauty side of it, you can learn how to do your hair or you can learn how to do your makeup or maybe even learn how to do your nails. That way, when we're out of this quarantine, you would have developed a brand new skill set on how you can really take care of yourself. Item number two, exercise. Okay, so wait, wait, wait. Before you guys write me off, you gotta listen to my reasoning, okay? Exercise is really, really awesome for you. It's awesome for everybody, not just pregnant women, but especially pregnant women. Exercise is awesome for helping you to control your weight, to maintain any type of stresses or moods, help you with your sleep, and also to strengthen all of your bones and muscles in your body. And it helps to reduce your risk of heart disease, which is a really awesome awesome reason, right? The benefit that we have as pregnant women is it actually helps us whenever we are carrying around this extra weight. And so as baby is rapidly growing, we want to make sure that we have strong muscles. We want to make sure that our bones are strong as well, especially with our back because, well, our back is taking a beating this, during this time. Number three, meditate. So meditation is something that I have been doing recently and it is an awesome, awesome tool. It really helps you to improve your sleep. It helps to reduce anxiety. It helps for self-awareness and improving memory and so much more. For me personally, I prefer to meditate right before I go to sleep because it really just helps me to have a better sleep, more solid sleep. More than likely, my sleep will be uninterrupted because I'm allowing myself to turn everything from the day off and just really settle into being in the present, which is relaxing. By the way, that also includes cutting off my gadgets. So no screen time a bit before I go to bed. There are actually a couple of apps that I do recommend. Uh, one is Aura, that's A-U-R-A. -A. Um, it's a really cool meditation app that kind of guides you through meditating for those who are new to it. And I believe it is a paid app, but they are running some special, I believe, where you can use like some sort of um, code or something like that to get so much off or get the first few months off or something. I'm not affiliated with them in any way, shape or form, but they were one of the, one of the ones that were recommended. So I want to go ahead and put that out there. An app I did try before is called Calm, C-A-L-M. And that's a really great app. I really do prefer that one just because I've never used Aura before, but Aura was like the number one app even over Calm. I don't know. I can't say. But uh, Calm is actually really cool and it is actually available on some VR headsets. I've actually left the links down below in the description box. So whenever you guys get a moment, feel free to try out one or both of those apps and see how you like it. Number four. Take on a new hobby. Surely there's a hobby that you've been curious about. So why not take this time to explore that? So whether you wanted to paint, knit, sew, DJ, open a business, you know, if you want to play an instrument, dance, write, draw. I mean, the fundamentals are all at your fingertips. All you have to do is go into that lovely search engine that I love, which is Google, punch it in, pull it up, and I'm, I can guarantee you, you will find a minimum of a million articles on the same thing and some YouTube videos. So you can really learn how to get into it. I can guarantee you there will be so many things that pop up before you, before you can even say, oh, this is interesting. However, if your hobbies are traveling, you may have to delay that for just a little while. Number five, 
learn how to cook or learn how to cook better. This is something that I've been trying lately, which is cooking better, trying to improve my dishes, trying different things. So I've been trying different seasonings, different marinades, uh, different prep methods. I've also been just changing things up. So if you're getting bored with what it is that you're doing, change it up a little bit. You can swap out some of your original sides for some new sides, shake things up by adding some zesty vegetables or a salad, and you can also include your family in on this. It doesn't have to be just a solo dolo thing, right? You can include your family in this and you can really make memories from this. And this might be a new activity for you all to do together. How are you passing time during this quarantine? Make sure to leave a comment below and let us all know. If you're liking this list so far, be sure to let me know by clicking the little like icon there, the thumbs up below this video, and consider subscribing to the channel. It only gets better from here, trust me. Item number six. There are so many people that's gonna write me off just for this one, but cleaning the house and or yard. With spring in the air, there's usually like this annoying little chore that comes with it, which is cleaning the house. Spring cleaning to be exact. And yeah, there's the yard too. But recently I've been making cleaning super fun by adding some twists to it. So for example, anyone that knows me knows that I am an avid TV watcher. I love TV. Not really a movie buff, but I watch some sitcoms. And one of my favorite sitcoms, if you know me, is King of Queens. I just feel like I can never get enough, right? So what I'll do is when I'm cleaning is I'll actually turn on uh, YouTube on my phone and I'll punch in King of Queens and I will go to town with that playing in the background. So, but I can't just listen to TV as I go, which is really great because it kind of helps me get out of my little headspace and get things done around here but I also put a time limit on every room within the house. So for example, I'll say, I don't want to spend any longer than like an hour or so, maybe 45 minutes in the family room. And I'll spend so long in like the guest bathroom, the dining room, the kitchen, the hallway, things like that. And so when I add a little timer to everything that I'm doing, it actually makes it more fun. It turns it into a game. And then I feel like, okay, now I have to go. So not only does it push me to get the rooms clean in a certain amount of time, but now I feel like I'm pushed even further because I want to see if I can clean everything with time left to spare and I can get the entire house clean before I know it. So if I get everything clean within the time frame that I gave myself, I usually give myself like a little treat, like maybe something sweet or something like that. If I didn't, then I just take a shower and get right back to my computer work. I know it's so exciting. List item number seven. Create or edit your registry. In this instance, because we're talking pregnant ladies, the registry will be the baby registry. So I don't know about you, but I absolutely love, love, love managing our baby registry. And there are just so many things on Amazon. I feel like I will never be able to go through all of the baby items, but it makes it so exciting and it really helps time to pass because I think about all the things that in the next coming months we're really gonna need. So for my pregnant mamas, feel free to head on over to Amazon and go ahead. If you haven't started your list already, go ahead and start that list. If you have started your list, go ahead and go back to it, review it, and just make sure that you have everything on there that you think you will need and your baby will need for the future. So we know these kitties are going to need a lot, a lot of stuff. But if you go ahead and handle it now, you'll not only be ahead of the game, but you actually get to temporarily get out of this insanity of this quarantine mess. So if there's anyone wanting to contribute to mine and Farrah's baby registry specifically, I've included that link in the description box as well for you to review. List item number eight. For me, I always feel like it's so difficult to really be with my girlfriends all the time. And I want to feel like we're always together. So we are in group chats and things like that, but there's always so far we can really get with those group chats, right? So it's always so awesome when we can just have those real interactions and kind of make believe that we're all together by seeing each other on video. Cause we ever see everything, we hear everything in real time. And for us, that's the connection that we really need. So what better way to honor the social distancing practice than to have a virtual hangout? It's actually really, really cool. And I think a lot of people who haven't tried it, they may not really understand it, you know, or they may not understand the importance of it, but there's just something that you get from a video chat that you won't get when you're just text messaging or sending it in a DM. So I think this is really the way to go. And we're finding that this is just like a really great communication 
thingam or bobber or jiggy, I don't even know. But anyway, <laughs> it's really fun. So if it's something that you are into and maybe you haven't even given it a shot yet, I recommend if you're on Facebook, download the Facebook Messenger. If your friends have Facebook too, that would work. Also, if you don't want to go the Facebook route, you can try Zoom. Zoom is really cool. You can do your business conferences there or you can just have a hangout party. Why not? We do it and it's a lot of fun. List item number nine. We're going to have to take it to the old school board games. Okay, so now call it how you want. But it, there's just something about an old school board game that will never get old. I'm talking about the Monopolies. I'm talking about the Unos. I'm talking about anything like the Scrabbles or even a murder mystery game. Try to get, get involved in something or try to get a game that is interactive for more than just a couple of players. So, for example, if in this quarantine you're actually blessed to be in a household that has a group of people, this would be so fun for you guys. It would just be super fun, interactive, help time pass, really help your brain get to thinking. And most importantly, it's a lot more interactive than just a video game because it's not like a single or double player kind of thing. It's something where everybody has to get involved. And I don't know about you guys. Maybe I'm just old school. I don't know. But when an old school game comes out, I'm usually one of the first players on deck. So last but definitely not least, number 10, catch up on some TV. So did you guys really think I was going to leave you without like a little extra relaxation tip or something? No, because I wouldn't give you guys any tips uh, on what to do during this quarantine if I wasn't into it or if it was something that didn't appeal to me in some kind of way. Do you know what I mean? So I had to include this because number one, this is just our reality right now. People are binge watching Netflix, Hulu, you know, uh, Disney Plus, you know, any and everything, any and every streaming service. So I had to include this because for me personally, I love TV. And so if this is something that you like to do, you like to kick your feet up, you like to have a glass of wine or whatever it is that you like to do, this is a perfect thing. It helps the hours go by. It helps you stay up to date as to what's going on, you know, in terms of like our culture and things of that nature. Or maybe just some educational things like some documentaries or something that you've always wanted to follow up on but the hustle and bustle of the previous work life that we had just a couple of months ago kept you from catching up with all these things so if this is something that you like to get, to do then by all means do it I will always encourage you to do what makes you happy but you can also make this a family thing too so if you guys want to get the entire family involved this is really great for not just watching TV, but also creating conversation. So clearly there are a million and one things that you can do while we're here in this quarantine, even as a pregnant lady. But these are just a few of the more practical things that I wanted to dive into specifically. However, if there are some things that maybe I didn't mention, or if you'd like to go into any one of these steps a little bit further, feel free to comment below and share that with myself and others. So. If you want to be part of an awesome community of like-minded people, consider joining my Facebook group where I share up-to-date tips on how to stay motivated and sane during this crazy time. Also included are goodies on how to look and feel your best, so please join the Facebook group at the link below. So, as always, I really hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you got something from it. Again, I just compiled something like this because I figured that this was something that I was struggling with and I want to be able to help you mamas out there who might be bored and you don't know what to do so you know why not have one mama help another mama do not leave without checking out one of my other videos and if you like this video do not forget to hit the thumbs up down beneath this video and do not forget to subscribe for more goodies again thanks so much for your time i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know let me know what you feel let me know how you're feeling how you're vibing and i'll catch you guys in the next video i'll see you next friday Bye.